today. Drama down the garden. So I'm just in the undergrowth and I'm poking my torch through like a detective. Oh my God, they're making a run for it. Get down, get down. Okay, it's 10.43 p.m. I've got a bucket and a torch. It's dark and frankly, I am on a snail safari. It was lashing it down with rain the other night, but I had to get out to get the dog in. I could not believe it. There were so many snails fanned out over the grass, over the lawn, on some sort of trek somewhere. And they're all up the side of the Mediterranean Sun Terrace bed, which is about 75 centimetres high. And they were all stuck to the side. A big family, babies, grandparents, great-grandparents, all on some sort of picnic night out to go and get grub from my plants. And I have noticed, I'm not going to lie, they are a little bit shredded, some of them more than others, but... So the hosta is completely shredded. Even the salvia in a pot, like miles away from where this action was taking place, is shredded. And I'm fed up with it. This was where the majority of the party was happening. The big, the big festival of snail. And it was just underneath these, what are called blue denim, which is a kind of achillea, I think. Oh, look, here we've got, oh, look. Yep, loads of snails there. What are you doing? lounging underneath the hosta probably full aren't they after their dinner oh yeah this is not good right okay so i'm going to put them in the bucket one that one's trying to get away that's a that's a chase there i don't know what i'm going to do with them when i've put them in the bucket some people rather nastily say oh chuck them over the neighbor's wall that's really not fair But I'm wondering if that's where ours came from. (laughs) Maybe. Right, what's going on under here? Oh, I've missed one. There we go. There we go. I probably missed loads because there were far more than this. Oh my God. Right, okay. So I've just pulled it right back. The hosta has been taken hostage. Oh, there's a snail there. See, I never thought I'd be one of these gardeners. Look at that bucket of snails and slugs. Never thought I'd be a gardener who came out in the middle of the night. Honestly, I used to, I used to poo-poo that type. Oh, even more. So I'm just in the undergrowth and I'm pulling back the hosta leaves and I'm poking my torch through like a detective to see where else they're lurking. Oh, there's another one. Right, so I said I wasn't the kind of person to come out in the garden and pick up slugs but I've always been and snails I've always been quite fascinated by it actually coming out with a torch in the night in the summer to try and get them find them catch them in action and I have done and I thought sod it actually and I kind of have taken this idea from a new friend who I went out for a drink with another friend I met her you know friend of a friend sort of thing she was talking about marking an important occasion an important anniversary and I thought she was going to tell me that it was a wedding or a anniversary or wedding anniversary or something like that and um, she was talking about having a party on a Greek island specifically on Kefalonia to have a a Mamma Mia holiday and I said what's that for and she went it's because I've had a new kidney for 10 years basically and I've run out of moments of saying oh we'll do that sometime someday we'll do that and she said, I'm just going to do it because that's what I want to do. Apparently she emailed people and asked them if they'd fancy it at all. And she thought she'd maybe get one or two people going, yeah, OK, Greek holiday. 80, eight zero people got back and went, bring it on. Let's have a Mamma Mia weekend. They're going to have a taverna on the beach. They're going to do ABBA songs all weekend probably and it sounds like a lot of fun and I just thought I'm in a very small way a micro level way if I'm going to be the kind of gardener who goes out into the into the garden in the night with a torch and a bucket to collect snails and slugs then 
bring it on i'm just gonna do it and uh i'm enjoying it it's lovely so gosh i mean you hear this all the time don't you but it's very difficult to live it when perhaps you haven't had an experience and most of us I think are very lucky to have not had difficult life challenging experiences of being really super poorly and having to recover from that with all the worry associated with it but and so it's easy to take life for granted and take moments for granted but I think it's so brilliant to remember brilliant to be reminded I think of people who've done that and go yeah okay that's quite inspirational actually I'm gonna (laughs) sod it bring it on I quite fancy a Mamma Mia weekend now thinking about it what era of ABBA would I be in Hmm. I think the I think the poncho high boots era that was nice not the not the jumpsuit all in one no more the poncho hippie look right so let's do a count up 5 10 15 20 getting on for 20 in one in one patrol I mean that's a bit of a that, that's the you know if the crime numbers were being <laughs> put out that would be a satisfying result wouldn't it oh my god they're making a run for it get down get down get. so where are we going to take them well I'm going to pop them in the green bin and I suggest The next time you think something is a bit of a stereotype or isn't for you, but you really quite deep down fancy it, then get on with it. Just go and do it. It might be really fun. Get your torch out. Get your your protective gloves on and go out on on the snail stop and search.